Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, MangoDB database server in your Windows platform. So first of all, go to Google and type something like uh, MangoDB download for Windows as usual. So you will find uh, AppShare link first. So that is MangoDB org slash downloads. Click on that link. So, so at this time it's 2.4.6 version. So at the time when you are viewing this video, there may be a new version or may not. So click on the latest version at the time. So select your processor, maybe 36, 32 or 64. Mine is 32. So once you click on it, you will be redirected to downloaded page. Sorry, downloading page. So it's around 88 MB for this version. So don't worry, I have already downloaded it. <coughs> so go to your on one thing I have to say. So whatever the thing I am going to say now, it's actually documented by. MangoDB official website. So here, <coughs> so click on the second link. Install MangoDB on Windows. So as I said, everything I'm going to say is here. So which is clean and green. So whatever, somewhat complicated. I'm going to say it in easy way. So go to your downloads folder, and there must be a zip file named MangoDB. Sorry, not GB, MangoDB Windows 32 or Windows 64. So extract that folder. So that's a database folder. So I have already extracted it. So it's Windows DB Windows 32. So in that we have some bin folder on three non-necessary. So not non-necessary three unnecessary files. So copy that file, and we can place it in wherever you want. I'm going to place it in S drive. So rename it Mango. <coughs> I don't know Mango or Mango or how to pronounce that. So so right now we have just downloaded a database folder, but the thing is we haven't only so we haven't set up a server yet. So to set up a server, go to command prompt. Don't forget to run it as administrator, otherwise you may face some problems. Because I actually faced it and navigate to your mango folder it's right here in s direct sorry s drive on mango folder and navigate to mango folder slash bin folder as i said before there's a folder called bin in, bin in that and the very first thing you have to s um so now is uh, two commands the first thing is m o n g g o d so this is command m o n g o d to start a server uh, so this another command m o n g o so i will explain it later people often get confused with this m o n g o d command and m o n g o command first of all i will explain m o n g o d command m o n g o d command is to start a server so so if you guys have already know so if you guys have experience with vamp so when you start your VAMP server, it will automatically start a PHP MySQL, sorry not PHP, MySQL server also. But here we have to explicitly start server every time. So in order to start your server, MYNGYD command is used. So MYNGYD and hit enter. So when you first start your service, sorry, uh, service, it will show some error. You can notice here error DB path so data slash db does not exist so what is this database uh, slash db means it's actually a place where uh, all your databases are stored so i'm going to create a folder very quickly so you can create uh, anywhere it's not mandatory to create in this folder itself d a t a d a t a and it's not even mandatory to name it as data you can uh, name it to whatever you want and create a folder in a db so right now the structure is very simple s drive and in s drive i have a folder named mango so on in that i have bin folder which is official and and i have created a new directory data and it and data i have db which means database folder so whatever the database which I'm going to create in next tutorials, I'm going to save it in this folder. So DB folder. So we have created a data DB folder. And now again mango D. 
mango d so you need to explicitly uh, what you said uh, set a path to that db folder so mango d slash db path so remember this command you can uh, you can copy you can notice here in official documentation so it must be somewhere so don't worry about it so check it so mango double hyphen db path on your folder path so in my case it's s and mongo slash data slash db so you are saying that store all my databases in this db folder so that's very simple right so trust me it's gonna be very easy if you do it once so just hit enter so once you hit enter you will get some cursor like something like this blinking so don't worry which is actually means the server is running up properly so don't close this window uh, so it's a, a server running now so don't close this window minimize it and open a new instance of command prompt so literally guys you may, you may really get confused because it's really some deep concept but don't worry i have opened two windows here so the first window i have opened is server running server running and the second window is actually a client or I don't know what actually it's not actually a client but this is where how you use your server and as usual navigate your uh, folder mango bin folder um, so once you navigate here as I said this second command called MON Wo, sorry m1 gvo so this way how you use the database server so m1 gvo and click so first one is to create a server and the second one is to use that server m1 gvo so once you click here so you can notice here one connection a new open it will give you a message one connection you open and if you create uh, if you if you get another instance of this m1 gvo it will give you a new connection uh, with two number so don't worry about that so so what exactly second window is if you have guys uh, have done mysql console before so you will use something like use databases in mysql console so exactly so that is what this console is it's just where to use create databases use databases create collections um, create documents so that's why you use this uh, m1 gvo command use dbs so in mysql it's actually it's usually used databases so not use databases show show databases which will show you all the databases available at the time now i have one database local which is actually created by the server itself by default and actually it must create another database text i don't know whether it ha i don't know why it haven't created yeah actually it created a text databases so right now i have two databases what is local and under is text so as I said before, all these databases are stored in an external folder called DB folder, which I have created before. So here, mango data DB. So we can notice here local mango DB. So so here is a local database, the first one so if you guys are up to here so which means your server is running up properly so it's just a half part of creating a database sorry not half part so if you want to use this database programmatically uh, you have to choose program languages php c sharp java uh, so there are separate libraries available for that each language 
so I'll explain what the different libraries or DLL files are available for that drivers are available for that each language in next video so thanks for viewing I hope you guys uh, sorry you guys set it up properly if you guys are facing any problems just comment out here and I will try to explain so thanks for viewing